Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Glenn Richard Arashon, but please call me Chad. I'm not really sure if it is already my third year or fourth year here uh, at, the uh, at the University of the Philippines, Open University, but I, uh, but I started studying here at UPOU back in 2013. Uh, this isn't my first time to take EDS 132. In fact, this is my second. Uh, I was not just able to focus on this subject during the first time I took this. That's why I had to retake this. So um, just to give uh, just to give you guys a quick background about myself, uh, I am a working student. I work as a training and quality manager in the biggest BPO company here um, in the Philippines. I've been with the BPO industry for the past 16 years. So I'm the eldest in the family and we're all four boys. So now moving on to the first question, why do I think that it is essential for us to study Indigenous people's education? Well, first things first, um, after watching the video resources, it seems that uh, the Indigenous people, may it be here in the Philippines or even across the globe, are not getting the same um, privilege or the same treatment that normal uh, people are getting. Uh, they have scarcity in terms of uh, the resources that they will need in order for them to also be properly educated and to prepare themselves for what lies ahead of them in the future. It is also important for us to know what projects uh, the education sector has come up with for our indigenous people, because let's face it, um, most of them, or some of them rather, are living in the mountains or living in areas that are really far from uh, private or public high schools. So I would, uh, I would really like to know that at present, what is our um, education sector doing in order for us to ensure that despite our indigenous people's location, they will still get uh, the education that they deserve? Because at the end of the day, may we be uh, people living in the city, uh, living in the mountains or wherever, uh, we all have an equal right to education and uh, that's something that I would like to study that way. I would know what can I contribute to the community or to the society to help our indigenous peoples out. So what? Uh, so speaking of contribution, what can I do to help them, or what can I do to contribute to um to properly educating them? So as a future educator, I would also like to immerse myself with what ed uh, what with what ed uh, indigenous people uh, peoples are doing. I would like to be given the opportunity to visit their community, observe how they are being educated, figure out what else I can do in order for me to supplement them with all of the things we need. And of course, I will also use the power of social media in order for me to make everyone aware and see what their condition is like in terms of uh, education. So that will also be a perfect platform in order for me to um, seek help from them, uh, raise awareness, and of course, um, ensure that we will veer away from discriminating them. So uh, pretty much that's it. And I'm really looking forward to learn, uh, to learn from you guys. And I hope that you also learn something from me. Thank you.